What's going on, Vigi Gamers? It's the Vigi Player here, and today we have the Galleon's Demise, or I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the Galleon's Demise Iron Banner Scout Rifle. Oh, I'm going to get to talking about this in a second. Right now we're looking through the stats. Uh, the rate of fire, oh, it's so slow, so slow, but it does have a very high impact, and uh, the range, as you can see, is amazing. Stability, very, very low. Alright, so uh, we're getting it started with these first perks or scopes. I, I, I like to refer to them as scopes because, I mean, they don't really do too much and uh, I prefer to have a specific scope on, like, like the top one because it's a red dot. Okay, so luck in the chamber, one random bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage. Uh, a, a great perk to have on, absolutely good to have on any weapon. So uh, here we go, snapshot, I mean this weapon is incredibly fast, you know, self-explanatory, uh, you can bring, a, uh, bring up the sights real quick. Explosive rounds, the volatile play, uh, payload explodes on impact, dealing a portion of the weapon's damage in an area. It's only good for PvE, I, I think, anyways. Flared magwell, reload this weapon even faster, it maxes out the reload completely. And then Grenadier, or Grenader, whatever whatever you like to say, kills with this weapon, reduce the cooldown of your grenade. <clears throat> so yeah, the perks on this one are not... They're, they're, they're good. Like the, the, the luck in the chamber, or whatever it is. It, it's a good perk to have on, but the perks are not the greatest, I don't think. Uh, especially the middle tier perks. I would, I would rather something other than to have faster reloads. But anyways, let's get just let's just get to talking about this gun because I I just I just don't I don't recommend using this gun even though the fire rate the fire rate and the uh, the damage impact of this gun is the same thing as the Badger CCL and and for some reason the the Badger CCL just just feels nicer, you know, like just the way it feels, the way it shoots. It feels way nicer to play with than this gun. I, I wouldn't suggest suggest it, especially since everybody is using an exotic weapon. In the exotic weapons, I don't know what what Destiny did or what Bungie did, but man, the exotic weapons are just king when they're playing in PvP. Absolutely demolish demolishes everybody, and everybody uses them. Everybody's using a mighty multi tool. Or, you know, like a thorn, or uh, last word, bad juju, all those guns, this gun does not compare to it. So, it's it's really impractical when you're going against all these higher, these just higher damage weapons, these better, better damage weapons. Even though that this gun, perk-wise, or not perk-wise, stat-wise, in the stats, it looks really good. It looks like it's going to do some damage, and you know what? Some of you guys probably do a lot of damage with it, but for me, it's just not particularly what I would want in a gun, especially in PvP and also in PvE because, I mean, you know, it doesn't have a burn on it or, or whatever, a special damage type. I don't know. But as you can tell, this gameplay, I'm using it, uh, I'm doing a free-for-all, a, a rumble, because rumble's the only thing I can... Uh, I can play rumbles the only thing I can play and and get gameplays with it with all these uh, different off type of guns guns that aren't like legendary or guns that aren't exotic sorry <laughs> so yeah this this seems to be the uh, the best my my best game mode I, I'm always winning in this for some reason I don't know why I just always pick it up I, I, I can go clutch if I need to in this game mode. So that's why you guys are going to probably be seeing a lot of rumble for these. And, and honestly, I think it shows off the weapon pretty nicely, being able to being able to kill anybody that I see instead of having to worry about uh, an objective or anything like that. But yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't suggest this gun. I, I, I think it's a good gun, but I just don't think it's practical well, I've said it before. I don't. I don't think it's practical when going against everybody else's super OP guns. You know. So that. So that's basically. Uh, that, that's basically what I really have to say about this. About this gun. You know. And uh, 
you, it's very very similar to the to the Badger CC uh, CCL, which I've already said. But I just wanted to say it again because I I know that I I did a, a video with the Badger CCL and I really really liked that gun. But this was also before uh, before they did that the newest update where they where they fudged up all the guns basically. And as you can see, uh, a lot in this uh, this video, I, I use uh, I use this gun a lot. Hit firing. I don't know why, but hit firing for me just works. It's just it's just easier to aim it at people. I guess I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the little review. I know I'm I know I'm not like Mr. Frickin put all these crazy different stats on your thing, but I give you guys a gameplay of it. A full gameplay, none of those cutting to different crazy things and just showing you the good things about it. This definitely this definitely shows the good and the bad things about it. Um minus my horrible aim sometimes because, you know, sometimes it's the person doing the killing or doing the controlling and not so much the gun but anyways you guys i'll see you guys in the next one it's gonna be three little words i believe i'm not exactly too sure if i'm gonna upload that one or a different one but i'll see you guys in the next is it good video please leave a like down below and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already i'll see you guys later this is the video player peace five minutes remaining Heavy ammo on the way. Heavy ammo available. <laughs> the crucible's no place for mercy. Shown your might, Guardian. Well fought. <laughs>